I can't believe it. If this is what I think it is, it was designed by a woman who revolutionized jewelry and created by one of the top jewelry brands in the world. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. I know I don't say this enough, but I want to thank each and every one of you who has subscribed and watches my channel. It really means so much to me. Having said that, a few of you are just a bit cross with me for leaving that potential glassy baby on the shelf in my last video. But this morning, together, we are going to take a drive back down to the Goodwill at Rainbow and Cheyenne to see if by any chance it's still on the shelf there. Not very likely, I know, but it's always fun to see. If it's not there, that's quite all right with me because it means that somebody else had the joy of finding a glassy baby candle holder in the wild. And I've already found one. So I am happy uh, for whoever found it, if indeed it was a glassy baby. But just in case, let's take a trip down there and see if it's there. Let's go thrifting. There's still some snow on the foothills, but it's an absolutely beautiful day here in Las Vegas. The temperature is 50 degrees at 11.30 in the morning. It's going to take us about 10 minutes to get there. I'll see you there. Here we are back at the Goodwill at Rainbow and Cheyenne, and I think we are going to have a new color of the week today. The way that works is uh, the colors that they put out, the sticker colors change every single day. And then the oldest one goes on sale at 50% off on that Friday. So let's see if I'm right, maybe I'm not. Yes, the color of the day is purple. Let's go inside and see what they have. Let's go thrifting. I opened the back of my car to get my thrifting Vegas blanket out and it wasn't there. And I remembered that yesterday I went to pick up an amazing piece of furniture. I'll show you it at the end of this video. If your Goodwill has a jewelry display, it's always worth taking a look. I have found sterling silver and once I actually found a piece of 10 karat gold. Today, it looks like mostly costume jewelry, but some of these pieces are vintage and desirable. Unfortunately, it looks like they're all right about $6, which is a bit too much for me for resale. If I can pick up pieces for just a couple of dollars, they do really well for me in my whatnot sales and in my vintage booth. Speaking of my booth in Danny the Niche Lady's brand new thrift store, Good Stuff, at 1401 North Decatur Boulevard here in Las Vegas, we are having a grand opening celebration event. It's on Saturday, February 25th, 2023, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And as you can see, we're going to have special sales, karaoke, raffles, and auctions. And you can meet some of your favorite YouTube personalities, including myself. So if you're in Vegas or visiting Vegas, please come down and see us. We would love to meet you. From reading your comments and emails, I have learned that Goodwills from state to state are all very different. Some have discounts, some have colors of the week, some are stocked full and others, the shelves are bare. Please, if you would, leave me a comment and let me know what state you're in and how your Goodwills are. Do you have sales, colors of the week? Do you have great items or nothing at all? 
From what I've heard, we are very, very lucky here in Las Vegas. Because we are a transient city, people come and go. Our Goodwills are absolutely fantastic. Well stocked, clean, fun to go to, and excellent for thrifting. Here we are in the hard goods, and this is the seasonal aisle. As you can see, the shelves aren't very full. And while some might be disappointed, I am excited. I know this Goodwill well enough to know that when the shelves look like this, they're getting ready to bring out carts full of brand new treasures. Here's a little Thanksgiving figurine. At $5, it doesn't leave me enough room for resale, so we'll leave it on the shelf. Lots of wreaths for fall, scarecrows, We've got some Christmas swag and greenery, some Christmas figures and cookie sheets, cards, and we are moving in to the 4th of July. <laughs> Here are some vase fillers and a snowman kit. All sorts of holidays, all sorts of treasures. Halloween, more fall and Thanksgiving over here. Little pilgrim. Easter baskets. Here is a fantastic vintage hanger with a deer. A minion. This bowl is plastic. Some clear glass. I've had a couple of comments asking me why I am skipping the colored glass section lately. And honestly, I would never do that because I absolutely love colored glass. But uh, I think what's going on is it's such a trend right now. People are buying it so quickly that unfortunately, there is no colored glass section. In the event that we find some though, we will definitely take a look at it. Here's a little a plastic a Christmas plate. It's a really fun design. If that was ceramic, I would pick it up. Let's keep going. Lots of Christmas plates into the Easter baskets here. I'm excited for Easter. It's one of my favorite holidays. Just not seeing anything that I have to have. Except for that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the thing we came back for is still sitting there on the shelf. But unfortunately, can you guess what that tells me? That tells me that sadly, the little purple candle holder is not a glassy baby. Because if it was, it wouldn't be here. It looks like someone uh, peeled the sticker completely and it's even purple, which means it's half off. So 30 cents. <laughs> I thought I would pop in a little segment here addressing how we know that this piece is not a glassy baby candle holder. As you may know, Glassy Baby is a very popular brand at the moment. They make candle holders. They're beautiful, well-made glass, very, very heavy. They weigh close to a pound each. I've popped in some eBay listings here, uh, listed and sold. And I'm also going to show you here this is what the retail sticker looks like on the bottom. And this is what they call the birthmark. As the glass is being made, they pop a stamp in the bottom. A metal stamp stamps the brand Glassy Baby, Baby in a little circle on each and every piece. And if that is not there, then it's not a Glassy Baby. As you can see, there's no birthmark on the bottom. It's not a glassy baby. However, it's still a lovely piece. It's become an overnight sensation. 
I feel compelled to rescue it from the landfill, so let's pop it into the cart. I believe this is a simulated stone candlestick, just a single, not terribly good quality, so we'll leave that. These are Swedish crystal candle holders by Nibro. There are three of them. I believe I have some of these in my inventory and they do tend to sit there. So I am going to leave those for somebody else. These little blue nautical candle holders are still there. Those would probably sell for maybe 12 to $18 for the three. So I'll leave them. I believe this is a Mikasa piece, Millennium. It's terribly heavy, uh, very specific, $9.99. We'll leave that as well. Look at this guy, Portuguese ceramics. He is a rooster. It says Portugal 23. He is absolutely fantastic, hand painted, really vibrant colors. He's absolutely lovely, only $5. Unfortunately, he has a massive chip on his right wing, but I am going to overlook that and take him anyway because he is absolutely fantastic. Next to him is a little glass bunny on a basket, trinket box, only $2. Let's take him as well. This is a vintage gold plated ashtray, sadly a bit worse for wear, the gold is wearing off. It says 24 karat gold made in the USA, only $3. Just not much demand for those in a rough shape, so I'm going to leave it. This is a very contemporary wall hanging mirror, $6, Hobby Lobby uh, or Home Goods piece, that. What else do we have? Oh, this is a fun microphone. As I pick it up, it's extremely lightweight, Home Goods, not very well made, so we will leave that as well. We'll keep going here. Some candlesticks. Those are not crystal, just glass. Decorative pieces. The canister is still back there. Oh, look at this. This is a fairy princess bank. Some of these can be worth quite a bit of profit. As you saw on the bottom here, it's got some pen marks, but I think those could be removed with either some alcohol or a magic eraser. I'm just going to take a look on my phone to see if I can find some comparables to see what it might be worth. We're going to use eBay's picture taking function to snap a photo and what this will do is bring up similar items that are listed on eBay. We're seeing a lot of princesses, but not the specific princess bank. So I'm going to switch over to a Google search. I'm going to uh, touch the little photo on the search bar. Again, snap a picture and it should come up with similar items. Here we go. Disney princess bank. Here is one. And that is out of stock. I'm always excited when something shows out of stock and there's only one because it means they're probably in demand. I have actually found a couple on eBay selling for $20 and there are none listed. So we are going to grab it. Let's keep going on the shelf here. There's a divided dish. This is definitely a modern piece, $6 on that. I do like these grapes, but these are modern too. And one bunch is missing its leaf on top there. Lots of collector plates. Oh, I like these. These are English cork backed placemats. The brand is Lady Claire. They're $3 a piece. These are Monet, I believe, the artist themed. Unfortunately, they are very worse for wear. Scratched in several places, lots of scuffs. So we are going to leave these. I personally also like the brand Pimpernel. 
in placemats, but they look very nice on a uh, set table. Some div more divided dishes, ashtrays. This is a lampshade. These are great to pick up if there is more than one. Two or three is even better. Here is a killer whale, little window uh, sun catcher. Unfortunately, the glass is broken in the center there. Can you see that? That really is a shame. A nice vintage piece otherwise. Little candle holder. What's this back here? This is a candle shade. Is it party light? It's Yankee Candle. Again, sadly, quite chipped, so we will leave that on the shelf. These 3D paperweights sell really, really well for me. This one is a souvenir piece, Venice Beach. Uh, very specific, so I'll leave that. But this one is lovely. It's got a bunch of flowers in the center. $3, but unfortunately, as you can see, it has a chip on the top edge there. Uh, so, sadly, we will have to leave it. I recognize this design. These are Oreo Compère, uh, a French brand located in Compère, France. They were established in the late 17th century. These are absolutely fantastic. Two of them for only a dollar. Let's pop these straight into our cart. There's some more clear glass on this shelf, little heart trinket tray, a covered candy dish. Oh, look at this piece. It looks like a candle holder. It's frosted and clear. I believe this is art glass. It's absolutely lovely. It would be fantastic with a floating candle in the middle, wouldn't it? What is this? It's a shell. This, I believe, is a piece by Shefford of Japan. They have a little number on the bottom that originally would have had a sticker, but uh, it's long gone. Unfortunately, this piece is quite chipped, as you can see. Quite large. Uh, would probably sell for right around $20 with that damage. So the size and... Uh, difficulty of shipping. I don't think I'm going to pick it up. However, let's use our Google Lens just to take a look and see what the value of these might be. Searching with my camera feature. I think that's it right there. $40 in good condition. With the chip, we'd expect to get half of that. Let's keep going. Here is a lamp. Back here, a couple of candle holders, which are quite interesting, but are not ever such good quality. This piece is still here. Flashed blue glass. The flash is wearing off. I do like it though. More clear glass platters down here. And as you can see, not much colored glass. Some painted canning jars. They were probably used for centerpieces. Those are 99 cents each. They usually range from 99 to 199. This looks like a big glass vase that would have originally come in a metal holder. Um, again, not ever such good quality. As you can see, probably a made in China piece. Somebody snagged the baby polar bear we saw last time. The mama is still here with her sun fading and her crack, unfortunately. A little swirly frame and some more fall items. These are fun snowman stacking mugs. Here we are in the woods and metals and I have spotted this amazing resin 
plaque of the Last Supper. I absolutely love the colors. The detail is incredible. It has its original sticker, Roman Italy, original chain and hooks. It's $5.99. Let's find a spot for that in the cart. I'm going to slip it down the side here. There we go and keep going. Here is a massive terracotta onion keeper. I think you really have to like onions to get that. Ooh, back here, I think this is a tree of life. Really, really popular subject matter at the moment. Let's carefully move these letters out of the way so we can take a look at this. It appears to be in relief on canvas. The leaves have been applied. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. It's a pier one piece, original price $39.99 for $5 has a little bit of damage, but it's not ever so noticeable. We'll pop this underneath the cart. This is a box of vintage soap, vanilla and ginger. Some of these can do really well, but uh, sadly there is tape all around the box and I don't know that I can remove that without damage, so we'll leave it. I thought this was a piece of agate, uh, but it's actually just a little plastic sign. More frames and canvases. This is a vintage plastic wall hanging, $5.99. These were made by Burwood and popular in the 70s and 80s. I'm actually going to give it a look up on eBay just to see what they are selling for, but I suspect right around $10 to $15. Thank you all so much for your comments regarding the signs and war uh, quotes, whether they are continuing to be popular or not. I really appreciate your feedback. It's very, very interesting to hear which ones you collect and which ones you pass on. As you can see, there's ever such a lot here. Cutting boards are a great thing to be on the lookout for. They do need to be high quality and or vintage. That one was quite lightweight and just stained. Uh, people are using them for vintage displays as risers and they look really, really nice uh, in vignettes. Some metal sconce there. What's in this basket? All sorts of bits. There's some coasters, some wood cutouts, and a bag of rocks in there. Here is a wooden carved rooster made in India. Chipped beak. We'll leave him. This is the back end of a Harley Davidson motorcycle. It's a bookend. Uh, big chip on the tail end, and the other half is missing, so we'll leave that. Rounding the corner into the vases, planters and florals. I quite like the design of this little triangular vase. It has an M uh, on it. A bit worn, we'll leave it. Let's see what else they have here. Again, shelves are looking a bit sparse. So I am hopeful that before I leave, they're going to be bringing out some new carts of treasures. Always take a close look at the clear glass because you never know. These spots on here are actually stickers. They are not etched. All sorts of shapes and sizes. These colored vases here, the green ones, uh, are recycled glass. They look a bit like Vidrios San Miguel, the bulbous irregular uh, Vidrios vases sell really, really well for me. This one has a bit of a sharp 
edge and it's not as aesthetically pleasing. It's got a seam, so we'll leave that. Same with these. These are made to look like uh, Vidrios vases. I don't think they are. They're very, very lightweight and possibly flash painted. So again, we will leave those on the shelf. We'll keep going. All different colors of plant pots and planters. At the back here is a Burton and Burton ballet shoe vase. They're asking $5. These only sell for about $12 to $15, so that will stay. This looks like it is. It's a lampshade. <laughs> Goes this way. Let's take this with us and we can put it back where it belongs in the lamp section. I like the style of this footed piece. It's not very good quality though. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's a little planter and the plant grows out of his head to look like hair. <laughs> More planters and pots. There's a load of silk plant bouquets here. Looks like somebody had a huge wedding party and all the flowers ended up here. Quite lovely. We're moving into the metal section. Some curtain rods, plant stand, lots of platters. I always move a little more slowly through the metals because sometimes a treasure is hiding. Here is a reindeer bowl. Not very good quality. I think this is a made in India piece. We will leave that candle pedestals this is the gold section oh this is reminiscent of mid-century wall hangings the sea urchins we saw at our trip to the antique mall with george the antique nomad this however sadly is a modern reproduction not very well made you can see how the spokes are actually glued into the center there that will stay. What is this piece? It's just a plain metal tray. Sconces and candle holders. These are glass and metal candle holders. Sometimes I will pick these up if they're nicely made. The combination of the glass um, to allow the candle to shine through and the metal sells quite well for me. These, however, are not very good quality, so uh, I'm going to leave those on the shelf. Moving into the black metals, as always, lots of candle holders and racks, sconces, baskets, a big sculpture there. What is this? It looks like a jewelry display. Doesn't look like it's very good quality. Let's see. It is not just a mass produced piece. Not very sturdy. And the tray isn't very well made. It's very uneven. So we are going to leave that up on the shelf. A leaf dish made in China. Colored metals, baskets and tins, little buckets, and dish racks. The lamp section is right at the end of this aisle, so let's put this cobalt blue shade back on the shelf and take a look through to see if there is anything new in lamps. This piece is a drip glaze style, very contemporary, not good quality. 
Let's take a look in the plates, platters and bowls aisle. This is a piece of Noritake, I believe. $5 on that. A big celestial platter. Look at this trio of amazingness down here. First, we have a piece of Franciscan Desert Rose. It's a gorgeous big serving bowl, $5. I see no damage, no crazing. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's pop this into our cart. Perfect spot right in the front there. Next, we have this piece of pottery, but unfortunately I am seeing a massive, massive repair there. It is signed, so that is very, very sad. We'll leave that on the shelf. Back here is a piece of Stovigliere china. There is the mark. It's got its original sticker on it, but unfortunately, I am seeing that it has damage. It's got a three prong crack there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get the camera to focus, zooming in for you. Do you see it? Oh, that is such a shame because these can sell really quite well. Um, Five dollars. Unfortunately, that is going to have to stay on the shelf. Bummer. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. Some Dansk china there. Lots and lots of clear glass bowls. Epoch is the maker on these. All sorts. Back here is a lovely piece of pink depression glass. Unfortunately, I see it has a chip on the side. Just trying to show you that it is pink and not clear. It's looking very clear through my lens, but it is, in fact, a delicate pink color. Because of that chip, it's going to have to stay. This is a lovely piece of pottery here. Tulips. It, again, it's signed, I think the same maker as the other piece, but sadly, this piece is very, very, very crazed. Uh, and you really don't want that on a piece that you are going to use for baking as this piece would be baking and serving. They have just brought out two huge carts full of new treasures to stock the shelves. So let's take a peek and see what we can find. One of my best thrifting tips is to take a couple of passes through the store, go twice around the shelves to make sure you didn't miss anything. And of course, in the event that they're putting new things out, uh, make sure you don't miss something amazing. In this basket is a Mickey Mouse mug. This is classic Mickey, it's $4. This would be perfect for my booth in the good stuff. Let's grab this. Back here is a Shrek glass. This might be worth looking up on eBay just to see how much it's going for. They've already, as you can see, put lots of stuff out. These baskets on the bottom are empty, so before we leave, we're absolutely going to do a second go through and uh, see what's new. I'm having a little look in the glasses aisle and up top here is a reindeer shot glass. It's metal on top, I think it's pewter. Reindeer are really trendy at the moment. They're selling very well for me. This one's only a dollar. I'm going to have a scan over the shelves just to see if there might be another matching one so we'd have a pair. But I'm not seeing one. This is fun. Dasher in his tennis shoes and Dancer in her tutu. Lovely. Back here is a Royal Caribbean Margarita glass. 
these are um, given out on cru the cruise ships when you order a drink and they're quite collectible I'm not sure whether this is one of the designs uh, that sells well I think the stripy ones sell better but I'm going to oh look at this cat in the hat travel tumbler only 99 cents it has its lid it doesn't look like it's been used at all so we'll grab that I just looked up the Royal Caribbean glass and the Shrek glass on eBay and neither were worth picking up we are here in the kitcheny bits having a look to see what they have again shelves are a bit empty they're going to be putting out some more treasures very soon it's a Vegas souvenir plate bottles coffee carafes nesting bowls all sorts of platters Ooh, at the back here is the base for a cheese dome these sell extremely well for me and I think I might have a lonely dome at home that doesn't have a base so we will take that with us it's just a little cutting board there salt and pepper those are both cracked down the side just modern contemporary pieces mass produced there's that utensil holder we saw in the new cart there not marked these pieces Casa Verde can do quite well but they are sold better in a set a glass lidded jar these salt and pepper grinders sell well as well but these look a bit worse for wear uh, I think the top is broken on that it's rattling we'll leave those some baskets up here a to-go bag big pink carafes those are modern all sorts of lids cooking pots chips and dips checking this little piece sometimes uh, they are valuable stoneware pieces the crusade or something similar there's a bunt pan not vintage some temptations cutting boards lots of travel flasks that thermos is still on the shelf there what's this let's see it's a thermos set this is a perini baker these can bring some good profit if you can pick them up at the right price at 13 dollars. that doesn't leave me enough room for resale this is a corningware party server lovely lovely piece wooden base with glass dishes I absolutely love these but they're so big and heavy I just don't want to deal with it so I'm going to leave it for somebody else let's have a browse through the utensils and miscellaneous serveware here wine stoppers oh look at these Christmas wine charms uh, sur la table I love that brand only three dollars so I will grab those some rolling pins here lots of baggies do be on the lookout for rolling pins by pioneer woman those can fetch some really good profit into the hundreds of dollars so do familiarize yourself with those pioneer woman rolling pins not much else down here we're in the small picture frames and mirrors having a look to see if anything jumps out at me 
Here are some metal uh, foil pictures. These are vintage. That one's quite fun. It looks like the river is actually flowing. These are priced at $4.99. I expect to get about $12 to $15 a piece for these. So at $4.99, they're just not priced for me for resale. So I will leave those for somebody else. And we will head over into the large art. I'm always fascinated by what they choose to put up on the wall. Look at this lovely, lovely vintage piece. Rosamond is the artist. I've sold her work before. She does a lot of uh, ladies. Never seen this little boy before, but uh, he's absolutely lovely. And uh, we'll take him. Let's have a flip through to see what else they have. Little fox here, he's fun. Hobby Lobby piece. Keep going. Photographs, oh look at these. <laughs> look at these, are they bulldogs in socks on a clothesline? They're absolutely lovely. This will add a bit of interest in my booth, a bit of a change, something different. We'll take that as well. Lots of contemporary frames. Oops. These are stacked a little bit precariously in this store. This is good and bad. It means that uh, not everybody is willing to flip through um, because it's a little intimidating. You don't want the pieces to fall down. Uh, but on the back side, it's very hard to see everything. Here's our tree of life. Let's put our puppy dogs and our little boy in the front here very carefully, make sure they're secure and they're not going to fall. See, this is an example of why it's scary. This humongous mirror has fallen forward and I see it's actually broken a piece here. So I am not gonna touch that. Not worth the risk. A quick browse through here. Canvases. Lots and lots of frames, as always. What does that say? Cinema. It's a metal cinema sign. Probably a Michaels or Home Goods piece. Not very high quality. Let's wander through into the furniture just to see if they have anything exciting. I am still on the lookout for a little stool, a little vanity stool to go under my bathroom counter. It's a humidifier, is that? Pick that piece up in a second so nobody falls. I can't believe it. If this is what I think it is, it was designed by a woman who revolutionized jewelry and created by one of the top jewelry brands in the world. One of my very best tips for successful thrifting is to go around your Goodwill store at least a couple of times. And this is why. It is a design by Elsa Peretti for Tiffany & Company, a beautiful cobalt blue glass heart paperweight.
Another amazing treasure just landed on the shelf in front of me. It's a gorgeous art pottery candle holder or luminary. I love the texture and the colors. It's only $4. Yes, please. If you would like to purchase an item from my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. If yours is the highest offer on the item, I will send you an invoice and mail your item to you. Thank you so much for supporting me. Here on my counter is everything I found at Goodwill. <laughs> Bandit is here inspecting the goods as usual. Hi, B. First, we have our pair of Henriot Quimper little mini plates. And what fascinates me about these is they are hand painted. So even though each shows the classic portrayal of the gentleman standing, they are apparently created by two different artists. You see the difference in the renditions here? Absolutely amazing. They both are signed on Rio Compare France. This one is dated 90 either 99 or 92, I'm not sure. But I'm wondering if somebody collected these and they were also fascinated by the difference in the renditions by each artist. I paid 99 cents, I believe, for both of these and I shall ask $25 for the pair. It is our little overnight sensation piece, my I want to be glassy baby when I grow up candle holder. As you can see, I soaked the label right off and it does not have any sort of mark on the bottom. No birthmark at all. Its weight isn't right. It's really light. I believe if I look inside, my camera will focus. It is flash painted. You can tell by the little speckles there. Nevertheless, it is really, really pretty. I only paid 30, uh, <laughs> 34 cents for it. So it was absolutely worth it for me just to rescue it from the landfill. Uh, love this piece. So fun. I shall ask $15. Next, we have this stunning piece of art glass. I initially thought it might be Duncan Miller, but I can't find anything else like it. So that leads me to believe it is a piece of art glass. It's absolutely lovely quality. It looks like the pedestal is applied to the base. I paid $4 for it and I shall ask $45. As I said in the store, it will look absolutely amazing with a little floating candle in the middle there. They have tapers that float too. So if you find a skinny one and float it in there, it would be gorgeous. Next we have our little bunny on the basket. This is not a vintage piece, just a fun little thing for Easter. You can put candies in it make a lovely gift for somebody a little bunny i believe i paid two or three dollars for it and i am going to ask eighteen dollars back here we have our fantastic portuguese rooster i am so sad that he does have this little chipperoo on his wing but still, he is a fabulous piece. I could not stand the thought of him going into the landfill, so I had to bring him home. He's so quizzical. I just love him so much. Hand painting is fabulous. Portugal 23 on the bottom, obviously hand painted. I paid $5 for him. And with that damage, I am going to ask $25. Back here, we have our tree of life. 
the leaves are actually applied. I'm not really sure what they are made of. Some sort of composite, I think. But it's really a lovely piece. It's pretty substantial canvas. And uh, what did I pay? I paid $5. It, it is a Pier 1 Imports piece, as you can see. Uh, retail 40 I am also going to ask $40 for it. It's quite heavy, so I think it best if this goes down to my booth. Next to that, this is an amazing piece by Roman of Italy. As you can see, the light is flowing through it at the back and uh, it just gives a radiance to the piece. The colours are lovely. It has its vintage chain and hangers. Uh, Last Supper. What did I pay? I paid $6 for this piece. It's very, very heavy, solid resin, I believe, in 3D. I don't know if you can see that. Gorgeous piece. I'm going to ask 45. Another lovely piece of art by Christine Rosamond. Little boy uh, in the ivy. He looks like he's playing hide and seek. Just a uh, very 70s look, Art Deco, mid-century. I am going to ask 45 on him. Switching gears, we have our little bulldogs in their stockings hanging on a clothesline. I wonder how long it took to set up this picture. <laughs> That's fabulous. I paid $3 for this piece and I am going to ask 25 this was a piece that got uh, set out just as I was about to leave. They're restocking the shelves furiously. It is a gorgeous piece of pottery. I love the design. It reminds me of the pieces um, that I saw on the shelf while we were shopping at Paradise Antique Mall with George the Antique Nomad. Uh, it is signed on the bottom under the sticker there, $4 I paid, I'm going to ask 20 on that. This is something I don't usually pick up, but uh, I liked it. It's all the Disney princesses, well, some of the Disney princesses here, and it's a bank. Truth be told, I think the main reason I picked it up was a challenge to see if I could actually remove this marker from the bottom. It's missing its stopper that could probably be replaced. I paid $6. I paid up for a challenge. Maybe I will do a little YouTube short uh, on how to remove that pen there. Uh, $6. I will ask $20 on this, provided I can clean it up nicely. I couldn't believe it when I saw this piece of Franciscan desert rose on the shelf it's a gorgeous gorgeous serving bowl classic classic design it's in great condition franciscan earthenware i paid five dollars for it i actually have some franciscan ware going into my booth in the next couple of weeks so that will join those pieces if you are interested in this or any other pieces you see here please do send me an email thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com please include your name your address the item you're interested in and your offer i will take the highest offer i receive you'll receive a paypal invoice uh, and as soon as it's paid, I will ship your item right to your door. Let's keep going here. We have a fantastic Cat in the Hat Dr. Seuss travel mug. It has its lid. I don't know that this was ever used, maybe just displayed. I can't find another one online. I paid 99 cents for this and I shall ask $20. I love Mickey Mouse, especially classic Mickey. 
This is a lovely black mug with a red interior, perfect for Valentine's Day. I paid $4 for it and I shall ask $20. This, uh, I came to find out, is a Jägermeister shot glass. Uh, it's a fantastic elk, I believe, the research said, made of pewter. I paid 99 cents for it, and I am going to ask $20. Over here, we have the base to a cloche. It's a Danish scene, a windmill. Uh, lovely blue and white tile in Delft blue style. Uh, we, it didn't have its cloche with it. I brought this one out to show you what it needs. This one uh, is just a bit too small for it. It needs a larger size, but I believe I have one somewhere in my stash of extras. So I will rootle around for that as is. I paid $3 for it and I shall ask $20. These Sir Le Tab Christmas wine charms are really, really fun. I love this brand. The quality is always exceptional. I paid $3 on these and I really actually bought them for myself. But if you are interested in these, I would ask $18. Last but not least, the star of my show here, it's an absolutely stunning art glass cobalt blue heart designed by the amazing Elsa Peretti for Tiffany and Company. Incredibly, <laughs> this again was brought out last minute right before I was leaving. Only 99 cents. I shall ask. 45. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my trip to Goodwill and my haul. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of our new German Shepherd puppy Rio with her big brother Bear romping around. Uh, I also have uh, some hummingbird footage and a little sneak peek peek at a new piece of furniture that I picked up, which was the reason why I forgot my thrifting Vegas blanket. It was protecting some of the drawers to the piece. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Rio is absolutely fascinated by Ziggy. She just wants to be his friend. As you can see, Ziggy tolerates it. We have two cats. This is Ziggy, our tabby cat. We also have Bandit. Here is a black and white tuxedo. Both of the cats are indoor cats, and that's because uh, the area in which we live is notorious for both coyotes, owls, um, and other birds of prey, osprey, and hawks as well as quite a bit of traffic. So we keep the cats inside to keep them safe. Nevertheless, Ziggy is uh, often determined to explore the outside. He is eyeing the door now and I know he's going to try it. Bear is a great herder. He keeps the cats in line and uh, Rio is, I'll see what happens here. Rio's learning in a second. There we go. Bear ushers him back inside.
Rio. No rocks. Rio. No rocks. Good girl. I am really excited to share with you this amazing piece of furniture I found for our new house on OfferUp. Stay tuned for my next video and I'll tell you all about it.